The Alaska Earthquake Center, in partnership with the Alaska Division of Geological and Geophysical Surveys and the Alaska Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Management, evaluate and map potential tsunami inundation of coastal communities. These maps are available online in an interactive format on the Alaska Earthquake Center's website. This video will walk you through how to use some of the tools available on the website. There are three simple ways to access the Tsunami Inundation Map Portal. The first is to simply type in tsunami.alaska.edu, press return, and it will take you to the portal. The second is from the Alaska Earthquake Center's website. Type in earthquake.alaska.edu, press return. Under the Tsunamis tab, Tsunami Inundation Maps. The third is also from the Alaska Earthquake Center's web page under Tsunamis, News and Projects, and type and clicking on the interactive map interface. While you're on this page, it's also worthwhile to learn more about the Tsunami Hazard Mitigation Program, the Inundation Mapping Project, any recent tsunami news, as well as information about pedestrian travel time maps and maritime response guidance documents. Now that you've accessed the interface, I'm going to introduce you to what you can do once you get here. When you arrive at the mapping interface, the first thing you'll notice is the list of available communities down the right hand side. You can scroll down and see all that are available. When you click on a community, it will zoom in to that community and will show you a list of available data. You can zoom in and out to explore areas of interest. You can also toggle the data on and off by clicking on the box next to the data type. You can learn more about the data type by hovering over the information icon here. It is important to note that the hazard extent to this red line is not the evacuation line. Please reach out to local emergency officials to determine the locations of tsunami evacuation shelters. Some communities have additional information and data layers available. Juno, for example, has a data layer called inundation extent in this map, the red line, and water depth. You can toggle each layer on and off and view more information by hovering over the information icon. Again, it is important to note that this is not an evacuation line. When the water depth layer is turned on, you will see that there are three different colors that represent water depth as a result of a tsunami. The three colors correspond to the legend here, yellow less than one foot, orange one to six feet deep, and red greater than six feet. When you have the water depth layer on, you can click on individual points on the map and see the depth at those locations. You can explore around the map and see how the flow depth is different in different locations. Another feature on the interactive map is the ability to play with the transparency of the water depth layer. You can do so by clicking on the slider icon on the menu bar and adjusting the transparency to your preference. Under each community, you will also see a disclaimer. And if the community has had a published report, there will be a link to the publication where you can then go to the publication page. On this page, there is the ability to view the full size maps or the entire report itself. Additional options include a selection of base maps.
you can turn all menu items off by simply clicking on their icons in the menu bar. An additional feature available in the interactive map is the ability to size your map for printing. To do so, click on the plus sign and the printer icon, and it will size your map to 8.5 by 11. You can still adjust the map to make sure that your desired location is represented. From there, you can select print to open your print dialog. And as you can see in the print preview window, it has been sized to fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. To go back to the full size map, simply press the printer icon again. An additional feature of the interface is the ability to save settings to come back to later or to share with another person. To do so, determine your settings, including any transparency settings and zoom levels, select the URL at the top, copy it, paste it into any web browser, press return, and it will take you to the exact settings that you had left. In the same menu as the print scaling icon, you will see an information icon. Clicking this will take you to a page with additional information on reading and accessing the maps and frequently asked questions.